Hey there, everybody. I'm Dr. Craig Ingstrom, and if you're like me, you've probably found yourself having to schedule a lot of meetings over the past year with people using things like text messages, emails, back and forth, phone calls, and maybe even some productivity tools like Win is Good or Doodle to schedule meetings with a bunch of people. And you're like, hey, I just really could use an assistant to help me out here. Well, Microsoft, like always, has your back. If you are an Outlook user, I have a great tool for you to use that's going to become your virtual assistant and get your meeting set up in no time. So the other day, one of my contacts over at Microsoft, his name is John, a really great guy. He wanted to set up a meeting with me to talk about something, some kind of project he's got in his mind. And I noticed in the email that he said, Cortana, help me schedule a 30 minute meeting with Craig next week. And then suddenly I had an email from Cortana as well that said, here's some available times in John's calendar to do any of these work for you. I selected a time and everything was booked into our calendars. It was pretty freaking amazing. So I was like, what is this all about? So I went and I searched for basically Cortana scheduling assistant. I found what I was looking for, as you can see on this page, it talks a little bit about the scheduler that actually came out in 2020. I missed it, didn't know that it existed. Happy that I found it though over the past weekend because I've already used it several times. So basically to get using it, what you want to do is go over to calendar.help. This is actually where it will walk you through the steps to get set up. It'll verify that your organization is ready to use the virtual assistant in its Outlook product. So what you're going to do is just type in your work email or school email in my case, well, work and school, I work at a university. I also tested it with my business and it works for my consulting business. So it should be pretty much set up for most folks. I don't know where you might not be able to get it, but it'll basically verify that you can get it. Once that happens, it is such a simple and intuitive process. It will actually pretty much set up based on your organization's credentials the information that you have in their system. So when I hit the email address and submit, it actually populated this page here, it said, okay, you look like you're Craig Ingstrom, click next. Once you do that, it says, here's how it's going to work. When you're emailing people, just simply CC me. I was like, who do I CC? You can see Cortana at scheduler. That'll actually come up in the email for you. So not a problem there. I'll show you how to do that. Go ahead and click next. Once you do that, you'll say, okay, this is how it works. I'm going to find a time for you to, you know, based on call, location, the people, click next. It'll ask you your preferences. You can set that up at this time. Basically, what time zone you're in, what are your preferred meeting hours, what's the preferred length, and whether or not you want your lunch break or not. And quite frankly, it knew that I was in central time zone, so I didn't have to change anything there. I, I actually disabled that. I said that I don't want or I'm okay meeting during lunch, I click next. Once I do that, it says, this is how you use me. I'm a natural language processor. So you can just say, book a meeting for next Friday, schedule a one hour call, set up a lunch meeting, basically very common phrases that you would use, natural language type stuff. You can click on next and basically it'll say, okay, to get started, select one of these test messages, uh, schedule a 30 minute online meeting, give me a 15 minute coffee break or book a one hour focus. Uh, I think that I clicked on to schedule a 30 minute meeting as you will see here uh, because it basically sent me this email here that said, hey, let's go ahead and get started. So honestly, it is that easy to get set up. I mean, there's not much more I can show you there. Once you get set up, you're going to get an email and it's gonna say, hello, I'm Cortana, your personal productivity assistant. I will help you schedule your meetings. Here's how it works. When you're emailing, just, you know, again, CC me. I'll coordinate the details and you use and you can do a test message. I did run the test message. This is what happened. It said, okay, Cortana, schedule my 30 minute weekly Monday morning prep. It says, okay, I received the message. You can unsubscribe from these. They send you a ton of emails. That's one thing I'm learning. It says, okay, I've set aside 30 minutes in your calendar. This is what it looked like. Um, it says it set it for 9 a.m., but could have also selected these times and you can basically say reschedule or of course you can go to your calendar. As you can see, I am on my calendar and here is the meeting. It got set up for me naturally. Okay, I am working at a university and the next two weeks are pretty low key. We are now virtual due to COVID. Um, just to prove to you that I don't have some kind of sluffy career. That's normally what my schedule looks like. And so you can imagine having a virtual assistant is going to be very helpful for me. And in fact, it is, I've already used it. Let's look at a couple of examples of how I've used it. 
So I'm back over here in my email. I was trying to set up a coffee with one of my uh, colleagues' contacts out outside of my university. It's a former student that we stayed in touch. And sometimes she asked me for a little bit of advice in her career and so forth. We've been having trouble scheduling a meeting. So basically I sent her a meeting and said, hey, Cortana, help us set this up. And basically this is what it looks like. Um, to there, I said, at Cortana, find a time for Lisa and me to meet for 45 minutes. Basically, then it sent that out. Now, I can actually monitor this in my email, or if I go to the calendar.help, basically where I got everything set up, it still will track everything. So you can see that there's this meeting that's still pending that hasn't been set up. If I click on that, it'll actually give me all of those emails and details, and it is tracking everything quite well. You can see that it has this online meeting I just tried to schedule set up. It has my meetings listed here that are coming up. Here's one with a student that I set up using Cortana. Very, very simple. And let's go ahead and do a test. I want to set up a meeting next week with my supervisor or department chair. And basically I've written out this message to say, hey, thinking about you know what I'm gonna do during the break to maximize my efficiency and effectiveness. So I'd like to do a virtual coffee with you. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna say at Cortana and then give the details that I want. And I probably should have mentioned this just in case you're not familiar. Cortana is like Microsoft's Alexa or Siri if you are a Mac user. And all I need to do is type at Cortana. It's going to pop up and you can see it's this one here. I'm gonna click on that, adds that to the email and I can write out my message that I want. Help me schedule a one hour meeting with Sandy sometime in the next two weeks. Once I click send, it will start sending the message. I do have it on a 30 second delay. So I'll be back with you in just a moment. It will take a few like you know minutes for Cortana to kind of do her magic in the background. And uh, once that happens, you will start to get a series of emails saying, hey, this is what I'm trying to propose, look up and so forth. Okay, so once you send that message, you will get an email back from Cortana saying, okay, I've received the message. I'm going to go ahead and try to get it scheduled. Again, you can unsubscribe from these if you want. I most likely will at some point. Then you will get another email that says, hey, I've set aside one hour in your calendar on Thursday, December 30th at 10 a.m. with Sandy. However, here are some other times when everyone is available that we could also book. There it is. Sandy will be getting emails basically saying, you know, is this okay with you? And if it is, then we are all set up. We didn't have to do any work. I can go over to my calendar, look at December 3rd. There is that one hour meeting and click on that. You can see all of that information there. I can go back to the scheduler, refresh, click on meetings and you can see it's scheduled. And there you go, all of the details and information that we were expecting. All right, so if you found this video helpful, which I hope that you did, go ahead and like or subscribe to my channel or follow me on LinkedIn. I am all about improving the efficiency and effectiveness of your workflow using specifically communication tools and techniques. I also cover videos on instructional design, training and development related topics, and a variety of other things that I find interesting. So I hope that you will stick around, check out more videos, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you found this tool useful or have other ways of using it or other productivity tools that you're using, in a similar fashion, why don't you go ahead and leave a comment down below? That would be greatly appreciated. Get this conversation going. I hope that whatever project you might be working on, that it's not giving you too much grief. If it is, always remember to trust the process. And now you might even have a virtual assistant to help you out in the process. Take care.